Good morning and welcome to NYFP. This is your word from the floor for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. As we kick off today's trading session, we're seeing that the major U.S. stock averages are starting out in positive territory. Global risk appetite is higher following mostly better than expected economic data. China's uh, HSBC flash PMI reading came in better than expected, rising to 49.8 during the month of August. Also, Eurozone economic data mostly uh, came in on the upside. Now, take a look at uh, financials. Uh, we're seeing mixed trading. First and foremost, uh, Bank of America shares fell to a new 52-week low, and shares are down by over 4.5%. At the same time, we're seeing that uh, Goldman Sachs shares are trading a little bit to the upside after its CEO, uh, Lloyd Bank, fined higher defense attorney, Ryan Weingarten, amidst investigations of uh, Goldman Sachs during the financial crisis. Now, UBS shares are also higher this morning after announcing that it would be cutting up to 35,000 jobs in a cost-cutting measure. And other companies in focus uh, include Heinz. Now, shares of the uh, ketchup maker are lower by 1.5%, even though its uh, earnings came in better than expected. And in terms of sector, we're seeing uh, several airlines uh, trade higher by over 1.5%. And then uh, this does follow uh, upgrades, uh, including airlines of U.S. Airways, AMR Core, and Hawaiian Holdings. And last but not least, looking at commodities, we're seeing uh, crude oil and gold trade uh, lower. Now, crude oil is slightly lower, uh, right, uh, holding right above the $84 a barrel level. And uh, gold futures are seeing profit taking today. Overnight, uh, gold futures rally to a new record high, topping the 1900 level to touch 19.17.90 uh, an ounce. Last but not least, the U.S. currency is trading lower against all the majors. And that does wrap it up for your word from the floor for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Thanks for watching and have a great day.